Okay, welcome back to another Web3 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Curve.Finance and how to stake your Curve Gemini US dollar liquidity providing tokens into Yearn. So I know that's a mouthful. I know there's a lot of steps. And I just want to walk you guys through this because I know there's a lot of people wanting to do this. And um, yeah, I figured... I can show you guys exactly how to go about it. This is my first time doing this, so if we run into any problems, please bear with me. We are sitting here at uh, curve.finance. I'm just go to curve.fi and um, I'll bring you guys to kind of like the home page so you can see. This is what it looks like. Um, looks like some website from the 1980s. Uh, maybe a little intimidating to some. I know it was for me the first time I saw it. But um, all you're going to do is you're going to click here. These are the different uh, protocols and cryptocurrencies you can deposit into the Curve DAO. We're going to go here to Gemini US Dollar. And boom, just click right there. And um, we're going to make sure that you click deposit, right? Because we're not trying to buy or sell. We are trying to deposit our Gemini dollars. And so just a little bit of back um, explanation about what Curve is. This is going to be the best technical understanding, so I encourage you guys to go find some better explanations online. But at a very high level, you can think about Curve as being a, a pool of money. And the function of this pool of money is allow people to trade in and out of stable coins without um, any slippage and with low transaction fees. So slippage is um, if you want to make a trade and then the price changes, right? Um, that is called slippage. So the stable coins, they, they trade at, you know, in theory, they're pegged to, let's say, a dollar. But oftentimes, they also trade like kind of outside of the range of a dollar. Gemini dollar being a premium stable coin typically trades above a dollar. Um, DAI typically trades above a dollar. I'd say USD Tether typically typically trades slightly below a dollar. Um, and so slippage is like the, the price differential away from a dollar in between these coins. So you put your money in Curve and it allows you to trade in and out of stable coins, essentially. And um, they do this through liquidity pools. So you can see here what I'm looking at. It's reading from my MetaMask wallet. And again, I'll have the video pop up showing you guys how to install MetaMask, how to use MetaMask. Um, there's four different coins, stable coins in this pool. I'm only going to be depositing Gemini because those are the only uh, stable coins I have. And um, I want you guys to see, you know, you can choose your, your gas price. You can choose if you're going to use the coins in all balance proportion or use the maximum amount of coins. I'm going to click use maximum amount of coins. Now, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure if I were to click all coins in a balanced proportion, I don't actually have to have all the coins in a balanced proportion in my wallet. Curve will automatically do that trade for me. So I could just balance all the coins, but we can go ahead here and look at the liquidity pool and we see that 44% of the current of the pool is Gemini US dollars and 55% is the rest of the coins. So I feel good about you know trying to get us to a 50-50 ratio. And so we're gonna go ahead and click deposit and pay exuberant gas fees. So I'm doing this for you guys. Gotta type the pin on my ledger. Click confirm, and got to confirm it on my ledger as well. And we let that go. I believe that was just the first transaction, and so that's just to approve the spending of the coins. You guys should be getting used to this by now. You have to approve the contract to interact with, or you have to approve your wallet to interact with the contract and then you actually have to deposit. So 
That's the approval transaction, and we should have another transaction after that. Okay, and we're back. That first transaction took about 10 minutes to go through. I had time to uh, pick up my short and happy guide to property, do a little bit of reading. For those of you who do not know, I'm in law school at the University of Oklahoma. I'm a 1L. Um, and yeah, I'm very much interested in Web3 technology. So that's kind of why I started this channel. Well, not why I started it. But anyways, um, okay, so it went through, took about 10 minutes, and immediately this new transaction popped up. So this is the big one. Um, and yeah, we're just going to keep moving through this so you guys can see what happens. Okay, so let's confirm the transaction in our MetaMask and now confirm it on our ledger. And now we wait. Okay, now that that has gone through, that took about 30 minutes. Um, there was like this huge spike in gas fees, and so it took a while for it to go through, but that's how this technology is still right now, especially right now. And so this is exactly what it looked like. Um, we know that it's gone through because roll down to Gemini US dollars. I don't see any in my wallet anymore. And so what we're going to do is click on over to urine.finance. And um, DeFi made simple. Click on vault. And if we move me out of the way. We make me a little smaller. We scroll on down. Yep, we can see that I have 1,669 per Gemini dollars to deposit. And so we're just going to go ahead, click on the vault. This is going to yield us about 44%. And um, yep, we, we know how this goes. Approve. So we have, uh, we're going to let that go through. We've, we've spent close to um, $100 in transaction fees. By the time this is all said and done, we'll have spent about $100 in transaction fees. So this is not um, you know, cheap technology. Um, these Ethereum fees are high. That is why we are moving on over to Polkadot, everybody. And I will have a lot more Polkadot-related um, content coming in the next months, uh, whatever. Um, yep, continue the series of Web3. We're going to let that go through. Okay, so the first one went through, and now we are going to confirm the second one. The first one took about two minutes. Okay, now that that has gone through, and we know that's gone through because we can just refresh the page, and that took about five minutes. Um, scroll down. And we click on the vault now. Oh, did not mean to do that. We click. Oh. Okay. Um, let's try this again, maybe then. So I guess there's three transactions. And that has already succeeded. That took about two minutes. So let's click refresh again. Scroll down. 
So now we're looking at close to like $120 in gas fees, guys. Um, why is that? Because am I depositing nothing? Yep, I am. Okay, so that is an error, guys. You need to make sure, unlike myself, that you are clicking the max. Click the max and then click deposit. And now I don't have enough MetaMask. Uh, now I don't have enough Ethereum. Okay, guys, see, that's why I'm doing this so that you guys can learn from my mistakes. That's why we're making these videos. So I'm gonna get this resolved. Okay, so the Ethereum has arrived in the MetaMask and hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes. Um, the lesson here is that you can um, actually do a deposit and have the transaction and spend the gas fees go through without actually having deposited anything. So I did that twice. So all in all, I'm probably going to have spent about $200 on gas fees. And I guess this is a lesson um, in terms of time horizon, right? This is new technology. If you're not willing to, you know, I'm investing uh, basically $1,500 into this vault. Um, if you're not willing to uh, wait long enough to earn back $200, if you don't have a long enough time horizon, this isn't the thing for you. And um, yeah, we're just going to keep on, keep on going through. So click max this time. Deposit. Confirm. The other thing is, guys, is make sure that you are investing money that you can lose. Um, you know, this is, if I lose this money, I'm not going to be in a bad financial situation. You know what I mean? So it looks like it's gone through. And there it is. Okay. So we have deposited um, our curve and it's been quite a process. It's been a lot of transaction fees. Hopefully this has been very helpful for you guys. And next, I hope to be able to give you guys a video on what do the urine vault stats mean? You know, we just click on the stats right there. I don't know if you guys saw what I clicked on, but um, actually we'll go back. Right here. Just click right here. And I'm going to hopefully be able to bring a video to you guys about what does all this mean because I do not know. So I'm going to do some research, reach out to one of the devs, see if I can't get an answer for you guys, an explanation about what we are looking at here. So stay tuned for that video. Uh, like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, let me know what you think um, and share this uh, so that yeah, people can learn about urine. Thanks. Bye.